In this supplement to the APA Survival Guide, we'll learn how to use Excel to create charts in APA style. Now when preparing figures, the APA manual recommends using a simple typeface, such as Arial, Futura, or Helvetica. This differs from the requirements for your manuscript, where you use Times New Roman. To be readable, letters should be no smaller than 8 points and no larger than 14 points. Also, authors should avoid three-dimensional charts. As shown here, 3D charts can be hard to read, and they often do not enhance the presentation of your data. Also avoid the use of color. Only use color when absolutely necessary. Color requires an expensive printing process. As a result, if your figures have color, you may have to pay extra fees if your article is accepted for publication. So in most situations, all you need are black, white, and gray. Also avoid different shading in a single graphic. When required, choose shading that is distinct. Excel provides one user-friendly option to produce professional charts that align with APA guidelines. First, open Excel and type the data that you want in your chart. Highlight the data, then go to the Insert tab and choose one of the two-dimensional charts. An unformatted version of your chart will then appear. You now need to format the chart so it aligns with APA guidelines. First, let's fix the font. On the Home tab, pick Arial, Futura, or Helvetica. The size should be somewhere between 8 and 14. Next, we need to delete the default title that Excel generated. In APA, the title should be listed as a caption under the figure. This way, if the journal's editor or peer reviewers request a change in the title, you don't have to recreate the entire chart. Just right-click on the title and choose Delete. We also need to get rid of the default legend. In this chart, it is not necessary, so just right-click and choose Delete. Next, we need to fix the color. Click on the bars and go to the Home tab. Use the Paint bucket to choose Black. Finally, we need to label the X and Y axes so that readers understand the variables in the chart. Go to the Layout tab. In the Labels section, choose Axis Titles. Choose Primary Horizontal Axis and type the name of the variable generation. Then hit enter. Now choose axis titles and pick primary vertical axis. Type number of participants and hit enter. Now you have a chart in APA format. Now don't be shy when working in Excel. Experiment with different charts so you can generate figures that work in your papers. Search the internet for other videos that explain how to make charts in Excel. And be sure to check out the information shown here to ensure your figures are in proper APA format.